after thompson found out that that after thompson found out the electrons which were coming from from the atoms which dalton said was indivisible and hence was proved wrong right so so he was proved wrong and we saw that we, we had electrons and we could see the electrons in the forms of of dots on the on the what what screen what had we smeared the screen with it was it was zinc zinc sulfide very good zinc sulfide okay and we know that they were kind of particle nature right and they were deviated by the electric field and the magnetic field and they were charged and we found out the charge on them which came out to be to be to be minus e where e was equal to how much 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs right and and the mass later came out to be uh, th this came out from which experiment the the millikan salt drop and and later the mass came out to be 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg right now we had known only a sub atomic particle this was a sub atomic particle right this was contained in an atom now the whole question was what did an atom look like that was still not explained right so an elementary attempt was made by thompson and he proposed a model okay so so we'll call that an an atomic model an atomic model and and what that model was so since since he was responsible for finding out a subatomic particle and and hence people were looking forward to him to to reveal what the atom will look like and he 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 did not fail them he came up with his own own model of atom which is is called after his name the thomson's the thomson's atomic atomic model right the thomson's atomic model and and it it kind of looked like this okay so so it kind of looked like that okay so he said he said that he said that that the whole he said that atom is electrically neutral okay it had to be right so so he was correct to that extent that it is at all, uh, it is electrically neutral because if it is not neutral if it is charged and we say that a material is made up of numerous atoms and we also by that time came to know that likes repel and the unlikes attract so by that actually any material the atoms in any material should have been repelling each other very fiercely and the material will not be in the shape or size that we see them naturally as correct so they had to be neutral that means if they are together they are not exerting any force on each other now they are neutral fine and he himself was responsible for finding out an electrically negatively charged thing called electron okay so so it means it is composed of of equal positive and negative charges that must be the second thing
then only they can be neutral right now there should be the third thing that positive charge was still not found out understand it is still not there now the the third thing he said now you will have to tell how the, those charges are arranged right so he said that the positive charges that the positive charge is uniformly distributed is uniformly distributed all over the atom all over the atom right uniformly distributed it is smeared all over okay now what the fourth thing the fourth thing that he said was the negative charges the negative charges and he had already found the negative charges they were electrons they are embedded embedded in the atom like seeds in a watermelon okay and the positive charges are also spread uniformly like the red of the watermelon watermelon and these are like the seeds okay or since he was an english and there's a thing called plum pudding so he said like plums in a uh, pudding okay is some some dessert which which is kind of i have not seen it uh, i have heard it is like a cake okay with, with small pieces of plums in between right and it's supposedly very very delicious so with something like that so that's why it is also called a plum pudding model okay a plum pudding model So this is how it is. Okay. <laughs> this was the the first thing, and and since it was coming from someone who was a Nobel laureate, okay. So so people took it at par and kind of thought it to be true. It's only later that it was found out, found out that 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 this is not true, right? So so plum pudding model or watermelon model, you can say. okay watermelon model okay and as i said it was coming from from the horse's mouth so so a fellow who was already renowned and he had discovered something inside the atom so it was taken at par but that is not the end of the story had it been the end of the story he would have got another nobel okay which he did not 